What is going on Gators? Keith here with another Sherman tech tip for you. This tech tip is how to do a small little hack to your Microsoft Teams meeting so that the students can just see you during a call. Now you might ask why is this needed? Well, if you are doing a video call and you are trying to teach something on their iPad, they might only have a three by three screen with nine faces on it and they could barely see you. So this hack will actually help solve that issue. Now, if you remember back in the spring, I made a video on how to screencast your iPad to a MacBook and to have that on a Teams meeting. It is still available on YouTube if you need it. Um, also, I can send out the links to those as well. The process to set this up is exactly the same, just without the iPad. So to do that, you're gonna go to QuickTime, you're gonna go up to Cancel, then you're gonna go up to File and go down to Create New Movie so that you get a screen that just has your video camera off of it. Then when you're in Teams, your Teams meeting, if you go in, let's say I'm gonna do a quick meet right now uh, just for this purpose, and then in your video call, you are gonna go up to the square with the arrow, the share button, and then you would go down to your meeting window, which I don't have up at this second, so I'm actually gonna get it up really quick. And there's QuickTime Player. I'm gonna hit cancel. I'm gonna go new movie recording. And there we go. There I have mine up over the top right there. But if we go back into the video call, and I'm actually gonna remove this there. If we go into our video call and our share screen, let me get this down, let me pull that back up. Now you can see this movie recording. So if I was to click on that, then they would get to see just this screen here. Now the advantages of this are that your kids would just see you, like you would do, like you would do for a screen share. The disadvantage is it's kind of choppy but it does work for what we might want it to do. And if you were to connect this to your big screen in your room using the adapter that we provided and the HDMI cord from your Apple TV, then you would be able to have your MacBook show your screen and your recording, whereas on the screen up top, you could have it set up to show the students faces. Now, why is this important? Well, if I was teaching in the classroom this year, that's what I would want to see. I would want to see the students' faces as I'm teaching so that we can connect with them in real time as we're going, especially if they have any questions. I was able to help the first grade teachers see this today. They were really excited, and I hope the rest of you are excited as well. As always, Gators, if you need to get a hold of me or if you need any other tech help, please don't hesitate to reach out. Shoot me a chat in Teams, shoot me an email, stop by the swamp, and I'll be happy to help you. And thank you for everything that you're doing. Thank you for everything that you're doing for our students. And as always, it's great to be a Gator.